hey Jelly Toast here, back with more I Am Satsuna. Let us go through the swirling portal of death. Or just stand before it and have another conversation. This is the entrance. It's like a hidden entrance. It's not very hidden if it's a swirling vortex, but... Are we close done? Yes, not long now. I see. Come on, Eterna. I think it's time you started giving us some answers. What is it you're trying to do, exactly? Need air. Alright, I'll tell you everything. Finally! Or don't. We'll just go through the swirling vortex first. Great. The last lands are protected by a barrier. It's there in order to contain an unimaginably vast power that lies sleeping here. A vast power? That's right, a horrific beast known as the Dark Samsara lies sleeping here in the Last Lands. The Dark Samsara. It is a creature that was created over a thousand years ago by foolhardy humans. And that's all you're going to tell us? Awesome. Thank you. Look at their antlers. Nothing there. If I have to do more switch things to create bridges and paths, I'm not gonna... More birds! Give me all the birds, give me all the birds. Oh, I forgot to press square at the moment. Whoops. Oh, I'm still dead. Nice. Owari. Dayo. Okay, let's go bottom first. Yay! Wait, that shining spot was yellow. Interesting. More horny dudes. Horned dudes. There we go. Better turn for them. Yes, it had all three. Owari. I like having only one path to go through. But then people would be like, but having linear stuff sucks, it's boring. If it's too linear, yeah. If it's like zigzagging around like this, no problem. Ouch. Rude. Repel magic. Is Astral Blue considered magic? Can y'all stop it? How many times are they gonna get to attack? Damn. Good guy. Y'all are annoying. That was for dumb. At least they didn't keep attacking every turn they got. Instead, just buffing them up. They got to go a lot of times. Damn it. It is a path creating situation. Okay, okay. I can do this. Not a problem. Let's go down. Nothing. Go up. Stairs. Horned dudes. You dance tonight. I think I haven't astral bloomed him yet, so. Got all three! Amazing! Surprising! So amazed I'm not running out of inventory space. Stone. I really should take a look at all my talismans, but I'm lazy. Woo! Back attack! Don't die yet. Damn it, he died. Should have astral bloomed him. Gosh darn it. Didn't astral bloom the last one. Tatsuna, heal me again. Unlocking. Mega Luxor. Nice, thank you. Haven't used them yet. Knock on wood. Don't want to use them soon. Uh, I don't 
remember where I came from. I think it's the right way. No, I will radiance the heck out of them. Not waiting for Astral Bloom anymore. Shiny spot. Shiny spot. What purpose does the shiny spot prove do? Since I'm done with all the recipes. Excuse me. The dark samsara destroyed a kingdom that once flourished in these lands. Then the power that dwells here is indeed my kingdom's nemesis. Even now, as it sleeps, its an unimaginable magical energy continues to wreak havoc. It is what brings the monsters into this world, and it is what will bring about this world's end. So you mean, this thing's been living here all this time? That's right, the Dark Samsara lives on even now. You said it was sleeping, right? If it creates monsters while it's sleeping, what's gonna happen when it wakes up? Will the barrier hold up? The barrier is still maintained today by the guardian who first created it. You wanna tell us who that guardian is? <laughs> That would be lovely. I don't think I reached it. Oh, I did. <laughs> That's a greater deer, mom. Instead of like, Damon. Haha. Uh -huh. I'm getting hungry. I want pizza. I want mac and cheese pizza. Has anyone ever heard of mac and cheese pizza before? I had it in New York. It's really good. No red sauce, though. Red sauce is gross. Sneak attack. I don't think that was sneak attack. It was. Get it. Anti cream green. Uh, crimson ring. Cream's on me. Ooh. Oh, damn. Astral Bloom. And die. Or not. Hi. Yes, he missed. Pikachu. What a loser. Okay, Astro Bloom again. This time for sure, kill him. And let me get all the bounties of his death. Wow, he missed me again. Woo! I don't think I'll heal a turn. I think in the next battle she'll uh, level up. And what? Is that a weapon? No? Okay. I missed what that was. Whoops. It doesn't seem like a weapon though, so not too big of a loss. But yeah, mac and cheese pizza sounds so good right now. Yep, she leveled up so I don't have to heal her MP or health. Yeah, ooh, treasure chest. I'm so glad I saw that before I moved on. Hero's heart. When I get to the next save point, I'm definitely gonna have to check all of my talismans and see which ones I should have put. Kill. Kill them all. Come on, Julian, level up. More birds, more deer. Such is life. There's gotta be another switch, so I gotta walk around this way. Nothing there. Bird! Radiance the bird! I think I have to go back to all previous areas and kill the birds. The owls. I don't think I have all of them. In my snow chronicles. Gosh darn it. This finishes the path. I go back. I really want pizza. We want mac and cheese. I've been craving salty, cheesy food, which means I'm tired or stressed or both. Such life. Waga 
Thank you for that, Julian. Yes, next area. I'm so glad that these areas are pretty easy to navigate. Like, I haven't gotten super lost like I have in, like, previous towers. Okay, Eterna, spill the beans. The role of the sacrifice is to pass on their magical energy and life force to that guardian. So that's my duty. The energy and life force given by the sacrifice is what helps contain the creature. This has continued for a thousand years, but we are reaching the limits of what can be done. The evil magical energy seeping through the barrier is already causing the monster to change. We have little time left. So what you're telling us is that we gotta kill the thing once and for all. Not just sacrifice. Her. Sacrifice to give her energy up to this dude. Okay, we didn't kill him. I thought they would have gotten both. She didn't really tell us who the guardian is, though, or does that not matter? Like, is the guardian... Are the sacrifices current? Like, constant reincarnations of the sacrifice? Why do I keep getting all these items if there's not gonna be another town left after this? Unless we somehow restore part of this last land, this capital city, to be what it used to be? The possibilities are endless. Aw oh, man, that was not preemptive. I failed. Ouch. No. Yeah, really bad, bruh. That's gross. I wonder if I could just radiance them without. Ooh, don't die, Eterna. Or, you know, die. That's cool. Sorry, I'm so late. I was debating whether to just use radiance without momentum. Maybe I should have. Tex. Oops, there you are. Down is nothing. Oh, that was nothing. Um, okay, so you form a bridge where? Hello, I touch. Hello, I'm interacting with it. Is it not this one? Do I have to go to the other one first? But how do I get there? Did I not go up this way? Wait, where am I supposed to go? This way? There's nothing. What? There's nothing down here. That green thing is the only thing I can interact with. Nothing there. Go down these steps, yeah. Oh, what the freak? Why didn't you do it before? So what happens if I do? Yeah. Oh, there are um, materials to make my weapons. Ooh. I thought she was gonna fall all the way down. That's so weird. How come when I interacted with it the, the first time, it didn't, it didn't go? That's stupid. Okay, and then I do more annoying stuff so that I can reach the other treasure chests. This is so freaking tedious. Better be worth it. Time forger. It's time. For no thank you. You seem even weaker than Rainbow Weapon. Anyways, I will do this. Ah, he saw me. Whoa, that was a weird flippy thingy. I'm just gonna try it. See if it dies. Hey, they did. Now I know. I don't have to wait for momentum to kill them all. Wait, what was up here? I think I got all materials from you so I could just kill you. 
straight up. Unless you're a different dinosaur. Right. Oh, that hurts. Bloody sure. Gonna... Lots of chests. Oh, I got more talcum. Cool, cool. I thought I didn't get any more of those. Nothing there. Down, thing. more deer. Kokoros de Kakai. I wonder if there's any like final spirit knights I can meet. That's their name, Spirit Knight, not Magicite. Last time I said Magicite. I'm like, yeah. That's Final Fantasy VI. And 12. Wait, and 12 was it Methicite? Not Magicite? Oh well. Get all the magical pretty rocks. <gasps> There's a glowy on the floor. I didn't have to use Setsuna's heal. Because everyone just leveled up. How much more do we have of this? Sacrifices with high magical energy alone are no longer enough to stop the creature from awakening. That's why we needed a new solution, a last hope for the future. And so, we needed to reach that solution no matter how many times that meant repeating this. Repeating what? The sacrificing, dude. Ooh, different deer. Yes, thank you for listing all of them out. Continuously. I'm still leveling up pretty quickly, even though I'm like over 50. Does that mean I should level more? Nah, I don't think I have to level grind at this point. The last boss battle didn't seem to be too terrible either. Or maybe that was just a super easy boss fight. Stupid Reaper. Yeah. No wait, this time I'll Astral Blue. Because I, f I didn't get any materials from you guys. I feel like I'm gonna have to use Radiance. Yep, I did. Man, I bet if I sold all this stuff, I would be super freaking rich. Oh, it's another one of these shenanigans. Well, I definitely want that treasure chest. So there we go. Happiness shard. Wait, what's up here? Is there anything up here? Chests? Nah, glowy. Area complete! Woo! I don't need to look for any more shiny things on the ground. I'll still pick everything up. Because I can sell the extra stuff. But like, do the antique pieces have any other purpose to them? Other than, like, money fodder? They don't have any special significance? Getting real tired of this, you guys. Twice is fine. Three times, you just gotta stop. Wait, how am I supposed to get across? Ah, and then I have to go back to this one. Okay, okay, we got it. Got freaked out, I was like, there's no way I can reach that! Hi-ho, here I go. Safe. Radiant! Oh, you dead! Stop it! Stop hurting me! It's not fun anymore. Okay, they leveled up. I don't need to heal. Anything to the left? 
Another dinosaur. Okay, let's see what's to the right. Oh, looking at the image on my TV screen, and then looking- Oh my gosh! Yes. And then looking at the capture image, it's very different. My capture image is darker and more saturated. And she's dead. I have a feeling we're all gonna be dead. Okay, well, I'm going to use a high potion on me so that I don't die. I'm going to wait for... Oof. I feel like I'm going to need momentum to kill her. Wow, this place had three. That is not fun. There, two of them are alive. Oh, but the person... Oh, she still gets experience even though she died in battle? I don't think I ever realized that before. Okay, well, that was... Interesting. Frog squash. I wonder if that's useful for Returna. Let's see. Uh, Spirit Knight. Can you equip it? Yeah, you can. Frog squash. Flits corn damage. Uh, parries. I don't. I'll try frog squash. Let's see what happens. I don't think I can use that combo with anyone in my current party with the text that they currently have equipped. Bye bye, dude. Normally, I would not heal, but I don't know how many of those dinosaur things are left. Oh man, the dinosaur things remind me of stupid behemoths. Like, as they die, they use meteor. Tokyo RPG Factory, you don't have to copy Square Enix like that. And yeah, there is another dinosaur. Back attack! Oh wow, there's a lot of enemies. I hope I hit them all. With Radiance! And I did. I am awesome. And one of the enemies. Wow, I'm already level 60-something. I leveled up 10 times from when I started recording, like, at all today. That's crazy. Okay, we went through the portal. Ugh. Ooh, sorry. Hit my wire for my mic. I don't know if that made a noise. Now we're finally here. You finally arrived. I've been waiting for all of you. What? Eterna? Better not leave my party. Uh, we're gonna eat food. Uh, MP, because we sorely need- Ooh, what am I doing? Could use a tent. We're going to save. It looks like cotton candy in the back. I had cotton c candy for the first time in my life ever, like a couple weeks ago. It's pretty interesting. It was very sweet. Eterna, don't leave my party. Do not leave my party. I will be so mad if you do. A thousand winters. Finally, we meet. Whoa, she's cute. Wait, she has bear ears. Wait a minute, what? What? Why is there a fake Eterna here? Oh, are they not frog ears? Are they... I mean, are they frog ears? I thought those were bears. What is it, a monster? Don't worry. Put away your weapons. She's no foe. Really? You sure it's alright? We can trust you, right? Right? Is she like a negative version of me? I'm her clone. Her clone? I created a turner using my magical energy. Who are you? I am the time judge. I no longer recall my human name. 
Oh my gosh, time devourer, time judge, holy crap. For time immemorial, I have guarded this land, awaiting the coming of the sacrifices. I am unable to leave here. That is why I created the Turna, to move around the outside world on my behalf. Eterna's role is to bring the sacrifice, Setsuna here. That role has now been fulfilled. I came here intending to pass on my magical energy and life force to you. But if that won't change anything, then I want to change the future myself. I want there to be a future where families and friends can live together and laugh together. Then let us change it, Setsuna. Huh? You are special, Setsuna. You are able to choose your destiny. You, Setsuna, are our last hope for a new future. It is exactly as she said. It is exactly as Mana said. She saw hope in you. And she was right. Mom did? I believed her and watched over this last glint of hope. I have watched you grow and learn. Thanks to you, I am now ready to stake everything on one other option. Instead of sealing away the dark samsara, we shall destroy it completely. Destroy completely? Why didn't you just do that in the first place then? If you fail, this land and all life in it will be destroyed. This is the decision to attempt such a fearsome battle cannot be made lightly. Yeah, anyone would get nervous if they had a decision like that weighing them down on them. But now, you must make your choice. To pass on your magical energy and life force to be a sacrifice. Or to destroy the dark samsara. I don't think I'll get a choice here. Which shall you choose? My mind is already made up. I want to know what the others think, though. Uh, destroy it! That's what we're here for! Jelly, are you really sure? You might as well, right? After all, after all this, you think- you really think we're gonna chicken out now? If there is a chance to break this vicious cycle, then we must seize that chance. For the sake of my people, I too shall lend you my strength. Thank you. All of you. I feel the same way too. I feel like for this battle I should have switched out uh, Julian for Setsuna because Setsuna actually heals. That means I could focus Jelly on attacking. Shoot. Too late now. I want to change things, and to do so I must fight. Everyone alright with that? Can I switch out my party members? This time it seems you have finally decided. Finally? This time? Look, all that stuff about things repeating or whatever it was. It took us a long time to get this far. Enough with the riddles, eh? I've given you this choice many times before. To defeat our foe and bring the world into the future. Or to avoid battle and leave the situation unchanged. Up until now, you have always chosen to avoid battle. But each time, the outcome was always the same. One of destruction. And each time, I once again wound back time. But I don't have any recollection of this. Over and over and over again. Using the power of the space-time spirit knight. Space-time spirit knight? That's right. I've traveled on this journey together with all of you every single one of those times. Although I'm sure none of you remember, of course. What? I don't remember a thing! Each time we chose to evade combat, and each time, time was wound back once again. Does that not mean this world does not move towards the future? Yes, this world constantly repeats the same period of time. That is true. When time is wound back, no one retains their memories. Except for me, the user of Spirit Knight, and except for Eterna. But very rarely, it seems distortions can occur, causing others to also retain their memories. That is likely the cause of your dreams, Etsuna. The cause of your sense of deja vu. So is everything repeated the same? Almost the same, would perhaps be a better way to put it. There have been small differences, but essentially it stayed the same. However, this journey has been different. The rapidly changing monsters, the vanished land, the appearance of the Reaper, and most unexpectedly of all, Jelly's appearance. None of those things ever happened once before, not once. That's why I held out hope for our journey this time. This is a hell of a lot to take in all of a sudden. We've got no way of knowing if it's true or not. So this means... You've seen lots of different versions of us, right, Eterna? Yes, you were all different each time, though only slightly. Shall I tell you about the other cures? No thanks! I don't want to know. When I think of these thousand years that you've lived alone, it makes my heart ache. Thank you, but I am fine. 
I've simply lived for a little too long. And anyway, my role shall soon end. Huh? I want you to show me proof. Proof that you truly possess the strength to defeat our foe. Proof that you have surpassed me. Wait, you can't! I must thank you. Starting with the appearance of Jelly, many changes have come to pass. These changes appear to have also affected me. I've just remembered something. Huh? Satsuna, just stop saying huh. <laughs> Use a different word. I have remembered my own name, and the name of the person I once loved. Although, of course, this was a thousand long years ago. Hey, it's like Yuna Leska and Lord Zeon. I'm glad to have met all of you. Then come with us! No, Setsuna. You must face me. You must fulfill your role. And I... I must fulfill my role. Okay, Eterna didn't leave me. Well, let's wait for SP. Uh oh! Don't attack me again. Okay, good. Protect! You use high potion on yourself. You use radiance. Ooh, wow, she is blocked. She is protected. Ooh, I do not have slow, damn it. Uh, Demi? Charge? Oblivion? Oblivion. Tech. Uh, let's see. Let's jump her. And Radiance. There we go. Got a momentum myself. Ooh, yes, you missed. Oh, stop. Take it. Yoshi. <laughs> okay. Uh, I gotta heal with. I gotta heal with me. Aura. Me. Yes, thank you. Julian. Julian, hurry up. <laughs> Momentum yourself. Okay. Uh, Astral Bloom. Go! That wasn't very helpful. Yarzo. Fight. Yow. Stop it. Uh, aura. A turn up. Protect us. I don't know when exactly it'll run out, so might as well just use a knife. Combo. Radiance. Oh, I wasn't. That wasn't him. Wait. Oh. Panacea? Moves all status ailments? Okay. Are you moving again? Stop it! Hi. Uh, okay, Astro Bloom again. I think I can go in for another Radiance. Thank you. I know you can do it. Oh, is that it? Astral Bloom, woo! <sighs> critical hit rate. I don't know why I added critical hit rate to Aura because I don't think healing stuff can do criticals. What strength? I know you have what it takes to create a future for this world. Ain't you gonna help us out in the final battle then? I've entrusted my life force and magical energy onto him. Him? To me? In order to save many lives from doom. In order to create a future for everyone. Your strengths shall also be needed. What? She made the Reaper? Damn it, you're still alive? Wait. Are you here as our enemy, or are you... I've come here of my own will. What's that mean? When his physical body was destroyed, the Dark Samsara's control over him disappeared. Oh, okay, so he was under control of the Dark Samsara. I then channeled magical energy into his residual life force, thus resurrecting him. But he's our enemy! If he did become our ally, he'd definitely make a powerful one. 
Well, yeah, but... I do not know if he, who cared not for his own life, would wish to be granted life again. I took a gamble on whether or not to resurrect him. Even if he has been freed from the thrall of the Dark Samsara, we must still remain vigilant. We cannot disregard the possibility that he is still our enemy, and that he shall yet attack us. I don't want to fight him. This welcome dude. I'm not your ally. But I am indebted to Setsuna and to Eterna. I trust him. If he is truly our ally, then a strong one he shall undoubtedly be. What should we call you? I have no name. You may call me by whatever one you wish. His name is Fides? 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 I'm gonna call him Fides. I should call him Loser. Oh no wait. I don't want to change his name. Yeah, sure. Woo! He has a character portrait. That's scary. Holy crap. Fides. Very well. Oh, I should have named him Death. Or Jerk. Oh, I should have named him Jerk Face. Oh, lost opportunities. Not. Ugh. Thank heavens. Thank you, all of you. Please put an end to this long battle and bring this world into the future. Eterna, before long, you too shall no doubt disappear. Please, watch over them as long as there is life in you. Finally, I can sleep. Before you do, will you tell us your name? Nope, peace out. Yudis, that is my name. That is an interesting name. Yudis, thank you. You've more than played your part. Have a good rest. What's this shaking? What the hell's going on? The barrier is gone. There's no longer anything protecting the world. All we can do now is fight. So our enemy is this vastly powerful creature that's been storing up its energy for a thousand years? This is no time for hesitation. We are this world's last hope, are we not? Yeah, I know. The heck? I'm gonna leave it like this for now. Um, do you have anything? Oh, it also inflicts death. Okay, cool. Um. Whoa, swirling vortex. Okay, I want to save before I go through the vor swirling vortex. No, not yet. I want to save and heal first. Oh, I'm not that badly hurt. Okay, I'll just save. I want to see what the purpose of the swirling vortex is before I go up. Because I feel like if I go up, that's just it. That's the final battle. There's got to be ways I can get better weapons for fights. Oh, okay, I'm back out here. You know what? I'm gonna look up to see if there's any side quests I can do. I'm gonna go through and get uh, weapons, look through all the talismans, see if there's any updated spirit knight I can get, and yeah, if there's side quests I can do, I'll start up the next episode from there. If not, I'll just start from the final battle place. Wow, I'm getting really hungry in this episode. Well, it's not that bad. I went through everything pretty quickly boss fights were pretty easy, but I think it's because I'm super overleveled, so maybe I should level grind a little bit more? I don't know, we'll see. But anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Stay toasty.